The glowing tails of fireflies fill the night during summertime. These insects have fascinated scientists for a very long time with their ability to produce light. It was discovered that fireflies had a special substance in their abdomen that let them glow at night. Not only fireflies glow in the dark, there are many other animals on land and in the sea that produce light in their bodies. Under the rays of ultraviolet light, all scorpions produce a blue-green glow. This is attributed to a substance found in the thin but very tough coating called the hyalin layer in their exoskeletons. Even years after they are dead, their remains still emit the blue-green glow under ultraviolet light. This is perfect for humans because we will be able to detect and avoid them in the dark. The deep sea anglerfish is not only known for its ugliness, but also for the tip of their dorsal spine that lights up to lure in prey. Light is rare in the cold dark waters of the Atlantic and Antarctic oceans, and the anglerfish uses this to its advantage. Not only does the luminous tip give off light, but it also looks like a juicy worm, a rare treat in the murky depths of the sea. The googly-eyed glass squid may have a weird name and look funny, but its glow underneath its transparent body is really cool. The photophores on their tentacles and eyes allow them to be bioluminescent, which means the production and emission of light in a living organism. Caves in New Zealand are illuminated by fungus gnats. They glow throughout their entire lives, except when they're still trapped in the shells of their eggs. Their bioluminescence is internal. It occurs in a special organ located at the end of the excretory tube. The bioluminescence of jellyfish was acquired over time. In the dark seas, they ingested small bioluminescent crustaceans. Jellyfish do not produce luciferin, which is essential to the production of light. Some jellyfish have evolved to the point of producing their bioluminescent lights, and some rely on others to shine. Each of these creatures' ability to light up is amazing, but in the spotlight today is the firefly. 60 years ago, scientists discovered that the combination of oxygen with calcium, adenosine trisphosphate ATP, and the chemical luciferin in the presence of luciferase causes light to be produced in fireflies. This process of light production is called bioluminescence and occurs in the abdomen of the fireflies. And unlike light bulbs, fireflies don't heat up when they glow. 100% of the energy used is converted into the light, unlike light bulbs which convert just 10% of their energy into light. To stay alive, the light produced is cold. If this doesn't happen, then no firefly would live after lighting up. They simply would not be able to survive the heat. You could say they're the most efficient light bulbs in existence. Just as easily as you switch on and switch off a light bulb, so can a firefly turn on and turn off their lights. They do this by the addition and removal of oxygen into the light organ. When oxygen is available, the insects glow up. When it is not available, the lights go off. You would have to agree that it's pretty amazing how these bugs work. Some fireflies can produce a high flash rate despite their relatively slow muscle speed. They do this with the help of nitric oxide gas. Nitric oxide gas is produced in humans after the intake of Viagra. Just imagine that. Fireflies don't produce only yellow light. The light produced depends on the species. There are as many as 2,000 species of fireflies. But don't start thinking they can produce all the colors in the rainbow. The lights in the abdomens of these creatures range from red to pale green to yellow. The blue ghost firefly is said to produce blue light. Fireflies do not just light up so that you can enjoy the view on a summer's night. They light up for various reasons, which are linked to their survival. Female fireflies choose mates depending on the unique male flash pattern characteristics. Higher flash rates and intensity of males increase their chances of attracting females. You could say the flashier they are, the more attracted females are to them. Their lights also help them identify other members of their species. Some fireflies glow up just to eat. Prey, which can sometimes be male fireflies, is lured in by the bright light and blinded to the fact that they are about to become dinner. The larvae of a firefly use their little lights to warn off any predators. It is their way of saying, I do not taste good. A firefly produces defensive steroids called lucibophagins that make them not so pleasant to the palate. This does not stop some predators. Frogs still eat fireflies, enough to make them glow even. That is why bioluminescence can be called an acquired taste. Glowing is only possible with the continued production of luciferin and some make their own 
while others just acquire it through food. From glowing jellyfish to ultraviolet scorpions, the ability to produce natural light is not for intrigue purposes, but an essential aspect of survival for these animals and insects. Next time you are admiring an evening's display of light from these insects, remember that their beautiful flashing lights may also prove deadly. So what do you think? Let's hear your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you learned something new today. If you want to know are we safe from Apophis asteroid, click on the video given on your screen. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more interesting videos.